This is the uh, TCAP 8th grade practice test for math. This is question number 52. In 2008, a tower of chrysanthemums was recognized as the tallest flower structure ever built. The tower was 24.43 meters in height. So that's probably important, right? They give you a number in the middle of a word problem. You should probably be circling it or something. Which measurement is the closest to the height of the tower in yards? Now, all they want us to do is convert meters into yards. There's a couple ways that you can do it. Some calculators have conversions on them. Then you just type in 24.43 M and then you go in and click it over to yards and you're good to go. I don't have one of those calculators in front of me. Norm, I'm just going to show you a way to do it without it. If you know how to use the conversion, great. If you don't, this is still a way that you can do it. What I need to do is use the conversion factor of one meter is equal to 1.09 yards which are, by the way, pretty close together. So your answer probably fall in somewhere close too. So if you get like a really big number on there, it's probably not the right one. Now what, I don't know why I needed to write the DS on the yards. There we go. So what I need to do is set up that conversion factor. So if I have 24.43 meters, I can get rid of this meter. What if I turn this into a fraction? Things become much easier now. If I have a fraction, say I have 4 times 6 over 4, well, I could do 6 times 4 gives me 24 and divide that by 4 and it gives me 6. Or I can know that in a fraction, if I've got a number on top and on bottom, I could mark them out, still get that answer of 6 I was looking for. I'm going to use that information here to try to get rid of this M right here. Now, if I write this conversion factor directly next to... Oh, whoops, sorry. If I write it exactly next to the original, and remember how I had multiply in that fraction thing? I'm going to do the same thing here. But in this case, I have meter on top and on top again. That doesn't eliminate meters. I'm trying to figure out what the answer is in yards. Do you see meters written in the answer choices? No. So I need to get rid of it. So having the M on the top is, makes no sense. So instead, I'm going to write, I'm going to flip the fraction over and put the meters on the bottom, which you're okay to do that. As long as it's a conversion factor, you can flip it. Now, I've got a meter here and a meter here, so I can mark the meters out. And the only thing left to do is do the multiplying and the dividing. Well, the, divi the bottom, or the denominator, should I say, is 1 times 1, so that's meaningless. We'll just not even worry about that. We'll just do the final answer. So I do 24.43 times 1.09 and I come out with 26.63 which is answer J. So all you need to do is set up your when you have this type of conversion question the first step is to set up your initial measurement over 1 the second is to set up conversion factor to eliminate original units, which is say I used to have meters and now I'm trying to get rid of meters. And you can do that by putting it on the bottom or whatever you've got to do. And then from there, um, units of measure. I know what you're thinking. Units of measure. And then all you have to do is do the multiply and divide. It's pretty simple. So the third step, I guess, would be multiply or divide. No big deal. It's a pretty simple problem to do. Set it up correctly. All of them will work like that. You're good to go.